Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Helen, this is Stitch Rip Repeat, and today's video is going to be this little prize bundle. So please stay tuned, the giveaway will be at the end. And also we're featuring another fabric haul, so please stay tuned. So as I said, this is my long-awaited 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Very excited to finally be doing this. I've been watching lots of my fellow sewing vloggers hitting that 1,000 and doing their giveaways. And mine was slightly postponed because I hit 1,000 back in April. But if you saw my video, I explained that I like to do a little shop, any excuse to shop, <laughs> and then gather up my prize for you lovely people. And so I wasn't doing that obviously because uh, the situation here was not normal. However, I have been shopping. I've got a lovely little package which I think you'd be happy with. So I will do that giveaway at the end. So make sure you stay tuned. But I wanted to say a few things before I show you yet more fabrics <laughs> that I've bought recently. Firstly, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody who subscribes. I've had amazing amount of new people join me so welcome very much it is absolutely lovely to have you all here if you are fairly new to my channel as I say of course welcome but please do feel free to go and take a look back at some of my previous videos and see if there's anything of interest for you and I look forward to bringing you all some fabulous content as we move forward I do love the sewing community and seeing the comments popping up on my videos always brightens my day. It's lovely to see the conversations that go on and also seeing the regular names pop up and then new people pop up, which is really exciting. So please do feel free to comment, even if it's just a little thumbs up or a heart. And um, I always read the comments and if I can, I try to always answer as well. So thank you to you. Also a big thank you to anybody who has bought me a virtual coffee over on my Ko-fi page. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I did set up a Ko-fi page recently, which is a way that you could support your favorite channels and buying them a coffee. <laughs> Actually, if you bought me a coffee, I wouldn't thank you because I don't like coffee. <laughs> Maybe a virtual tea. <laughs> um, but I have had enough donations since I set up that to enable me to be able to buy a light for my filming. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen it's a fab little ring light, which I'm using now. So please do tell me in the comments how the video looks. And so I have to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I really appreciate the love and support and moving forward I would love to be able to bring lots of different content and if you do feel you'd like to contribute to the channel at all with those virtual tea please do hop on over to my Kofi page that would be absolutely fantastic however if you do enjoy watching my videos and don't feel or don't want to buy me a virtual coffee then that is absolutely fine just being here and watching my videos and giving a little thumbs up or a comment is support enough so thank you ever so much. So we will get into the fabrics first. So I have them here. So if you haven't seen my recent fabric haul, and most of you have, I believe, I will link it up here so you can go back and check out those. I had some video, I had, sorry, I had some fabrics that were due to arrive around about the time of filming. So that's why they're tagged on here. And then Oh, I've just been stuck at home looking at the internet again. It is so bad, so bad for my bank balance. However, I will show you the most recent one. This literally arrived with me this week and it's from the fabulous Felicity Fabrics. And they were having a sale on. And so they had, I think it was 20%, I want to say, um, or maybe 10%. Anyway, they had a percentage off all of their products and they also gave a extra code to thank people who entered their one year anniversary giveaway so I managed to pick up a couple of meters of this rather gorgeous viscose linen and it is this so it's a minty greeny grey background I'm not sure how much you can see 
Um, and obviously it's got these little triangle shapes on, but it's a lovely, lovely fabric and um, a lovely drape to it. And I think the linen will be perfect for summer. Not totally sure what I'm going to make with that at the moment, so any suggestions will be fabulous and much appreciated, but I couldn't resist. So I've got two metres of that lovely fabric, which I believe is sold out now, so I do apologise. Um, I also got some fabric from the lovely Shell, and if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll have heard her mention she is so affordable fabrics and I've got a video coming up very soon of a Sirocco jumpsuit by Deer and Doe that I made with some of her fabulous viscose jersey and I saw this viscose jersey which is quite similar and it was I want to say I think it was £3.50 a metre and it's this gorgeous it's on a navy blue and then it's got these lovely big flowers in, I see if you can see, sort of a peachy beige and white around them. But again, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm thinking maybe a maxi dress would look really good in this or um, even another jumpsuit. And um, so I picked up three meters of that for about 10 pounds. So you can't go wrong. So that is rather fabulous. And then I've also got a couple of linens and these are from an Etsy page, which off the top of my head, I can't remember the name. So I do apologize. I'll add it on the screen. And obviously, as always, the details will all be in my description below. But I picked up these two. First one is this. I have no idea what the color would be called. Powder blue. Um, and it's this lovely linen blue like this this and I'm thinking for the summer when I got it I asked on uh, in oh sorry Instagram about making trousers because I've seen a lot of people making tops but I wasn't sure if um, as trousers they'd be lovely and lightweight but whether they'd stretch and I'd end up with um, a sort of drooping <laughs> crotch which nobody wants a drooping crotch or a saggy bum however a lot of lovely people did point me to the lovely Abby of what Abby makes and she has the shop the crafty pinup shop and she made and showed a video the lovely Sophia I want to say that's how it's pronounced but the Sophia jumpsuit from Tilly's latest book make it simple which I also have so um, I contacted her and asked her what she thought of uh, linen for hers and she thought it'd be a great idea hers have been fabulous and she loves them so I think probably I will do that and see how that goes with these I also picked up this lovely dusky green color I think probably it's is it sage could be sage in the linen as well and so I've got those which also I'm hoping I might make one into the jumpsuit and then one just into the Sophia trousers. And if I've got enough, I'm thinking a little Sophia trousers with a cami top out of the same fabric might look quite nice. So um, that will probably be what I do with this linen here. And then I've got a couple of remnants from people, I think both of them were on Instagram. Can't remember the name. I do apologize, I'll put it on screen for this. This is a African waxed cotton which I did see a while ago when I bought a previous remnant from this lovely lady and I noticed when I was on Instagram that it still hadn't gone I think it's two plus meters but it is this fabulously bright blues and purples which just with all the fabulous vlogs I've seen recently and also the series that people did including the lovely Juliet Uzor from the sewing bee and they did all about African wax prints and oh, there were just so many fabulous, absolutely gorgeous, stunning prints. And when I saw this one, I just thought, oh, you know, I can make something lovely with that. I have no idea what I'm making with it. So any ideas would be fab. I was thinking a skirt, a really long full skirt. Um, so let me know what you think. Maybe the estuary skirt, actually. So I'm saying I have no idea, but I do have ideas. Maybe the estuary skirt? with the um with that one and then this remnant was from 
oh gosh now i want to say it was from keely so i hope it is keely <laughs> or is it no it might have been from rosie rosie says one vintage do you know what i am terrible by so much i can't remember i will check anyway this is actually a remnant of this melange i never know if that's how you pronounce it um stretch knit which is the same as my bertha cardigan that i did in a previous vlog um however obviously just a different colorway so i'm thinking i might do a another bertha with that or even a blackwood so um because i love my blue one and then i'll have it in a couple of uh, choices now in my previous rather epic fabric haul <laughs> and sewing haul video i talked about a company that i've recently discovered and this one is uh, a company that it's costing me a lot of pennies <laughs> because every time they put something on I always see something I like however they're really good value so it's not too bad at all the uh, company I'm talking about or waffling about I should say is one called Textile Brothers and they are over on Facebook so please do check them out and the fabric I bought previously from them was like a tie-dyed blue in fact I see it right in front of me hold on it's washed so it's all wrinkled but it was this one I showed in my haul video with the lovely tie-dye and stars on and that is going to be um, an Alexa jumpsuit. This little bundle I bought from them recently, I got a couple of meters of each of these fabrics. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will always have seen them. But this is gorgeous. This viscose here, really kitsch, I think. And it's got these lovely little tiny images on things like strawberries and starfish and I think there's nail polish dragonfly keys locks oh it just it's so cute and I'm actually thinking with this two meters that I've got of the Mimi blouse from uh, Tilly's first book love at first stitch I haven't actually made that blouse yet but I think that would look really cute in uh, that fabric there the second one I got from them, and again, another two meters, is this linen. I thought it was linen look fabric, and that's what I said on my Instagram, but actually checking my records, it is actually linen. And it's like a beigey cream colored base with these fabulous big black flowers and fuchsia, hopefully you can see, really bright fuchsia stripes running through it. I mean that, oh, I love it. And I have thought, even though I haven't got the pattern yet, of the ultimate shift dress with the little cat sleeve version from Sew Over It in this. I just think that would be really lovely. And I want to get on with that, even though I don't have the pattern. Um, because obviously, if we do get any summer, that would be when I would want to wear that one. And the last one from the Textile Brothers is more of a t-shirt type fabric. And it's in this lovely print with trees, like palm trees in this black, on this lovely blue and white background. It's really nice, like sort of t-shirt weight. So um, any one of my favorite t-shirts, I think uh, this one here, thinking maybe even a t-shirt dress for the summer, if we do ever get to go to the beach. And so that was fabulous because I got those three, three two meter cuts of fabric from Textile Brothers for about 25 pounds, including delivery. So that was really good. And then another one again, which you do follow me if, sorry, if you follow me on my Instagram, you will have seen, I put up a picture in my stories of a ready to wear cardigan that I wear all the time and um, it's got this specific sort of little holes I'll see if I can put a picture up and I wanted to get some fabric similar but in different colors but I didn't know what it was called do you ever get that you know I, I see fabrics but I've literally no idea what they're called so I don't know what to search for and um, the lovely Tamlin of Sewn on the Time and Laura of the Specky Seamstress told me it's actually called Pointel if that's how you pronounce it I'll put it on the screen and it's got this, I don't know how well it's going to show up. It's got these little tiny sort of pinprick holes all the way through the fabric in this pattern. Oh, it does, you can see it. And I've got this in um, navy from Higgs and Hicks. And I want to make a blackwood with that. 
and if it sews nicely and works as I hope it will they had quite a few other really nice colours and so I will be ordering again but yeah it's interesting isn't it how um, I've been sewing for a few years now and yet there's still so much I don't know like the names of fabrics and that is a as I say point out so I'm looking forward to making that up and seeing how that works out Okay, so this last fabric is quite a funny story. I saw this on Cara's So So Mad channel and I believe she got it by mistake from Colville. I think they sent her the wrong fabric and then she said, did anyone want it? And I think Sean <laughs> from the Kittenish Blaver um, took it off her hands. And so I believe that's this. I could be completely making this up, but I'm sure that's what it was. And it's a scuba. And I'm going to have to move back, I think, for this because the print is so large. It is, I would say, a slightly sort of grey base, grey mauve base. And it's got this lovely, fabulous tropical sort of prints. So you've got flamingos and turtles. You've got birds and seahorses, flowers and leaves. And I've got about three metres of these. Now I'm going to have to go back and check Sean's fab video when she showed this to see what um, she thought she'd make of it but I'm obviously thinking a really lovely dress with a big full skirt of some sort to show off this fabulous print and I got that from a lady who was selling it on Facebook and so um, yeah really chaffed with all my fabrics and I am Definitely, definitely not buying any fabrics again, although I have got a few coming in post. <laughs> um, but after that, I'm not buying fabrics again for quite a while. Although I did sell off some bag making equipment recently to try and recoup some of the money. And I'm glad to say that's covered a lot of these fabrics. So it's all fine. <laughs> so the main event is my giveaway. And as you know, I hit 1000 subscribers in April. Thank you everybody. And I'm now actually standing at nearly 1500, which I can't believe, that's amazing. And I always like to show my appreciation and obviously uh, make sure that you realize just how much you mean to me. If I had no subscribers, I'd have no channel. And so that would be a very, very sad day. <laughs> so I've got this little bundle of goodies and I'll just get that and show you what the giveaway is all about. Okay, so the bundle I've put together is mostly from the fabulous Lizzie, who you've heard me mention quite a few times. She is the lady who owns and runs Make at 140 down here in Plymouth, and she has a fabulous little shop, and she runs workshops, and she's just generally a lovely, lovely lady. And I like to support small businesses, and obviously, especially at the moment, I like to support them. So I've got, I think pretty much most things in this package came from her. Maybe a couple of them didn't. So the couple that may not have done that I will start with. So this will be as part of the giveaway. It's one winner, all the items that I'm going to show now, and it's open worldwide. So wherever you are, please feel free to enter. I will post this to wherever you are. Obviously, I can't guarantee when it will get there at this time different postal systems etc but I will post it off to you and the first thing is one of my favorite things to have and I have a lot of them myself is these Kylie and the machine labels and these ones are they say recycled so you have a pack of eight labels from the lovely Kylie and the machine and then another pack of labels which I have bought recently is from the lovely Paige Joanna and you can follow her on Instagram and also she has a website and she's got a couple of designs of labels and these are her most recent ones so you've got oh I don't know if you can see it says cute as a daisy and so lovely and then it's got Paige's little logo on the back there she actually does all her packaging is 100% recyclable so this can go in your compost as well so I really love her ethics about that and love her designs so you'll get these two packs of labels in the giveaway winners bundle and then I bought a pair of earrings from the lovely Lizzie 
So she makes these earrings in her shop and I am actually considering getting my ears pierced again because they've closed over after years of not wearing earrings just so I could buy things like this. These lovely little button earrings here. So you've got obviously the top one's got the blue flowers and then you've got the aqua. As I say, made by Lizzie and that's, um, that's the uh, funky poppy there and she has nexes and all sorts so please do check out her website but these will go with the labels and then I thought fabric as you know I like fabric who doesn't so I got a meter of this very popular jersey I think it's a cotton jersey and always sells out when Lizzie gets it in in the shop and it's obviously this navy blue and these lovely sort of yellow mustard little birds all over it so you've got a meter of that also. And then finally, I thought, what other things do we like as sewers? And of course, you can't get very far without patterns. So to go with the labels, earrings and fabric, I'm also including Tilly and the Buttons latest pattern, which are these lovely pajamas. And uh, they've not long been out and I haven't even got a copy of this myself yet. So I am giving this away. So this entire bundle of goodies, which I've bought for you as my little way of saying thank you for always watching and supporting my channel. And I was trying to think of what I could do for the giveaway because everyone does something different. And I thought if you could just let me know what is your most made item and why. And I will kick it off by saying that my most made item for a top would be the new look. 6217 and it's because it's so easy and yet looks so great and for bottoms it would be Tilly's Stella joggers because I love how comfy they are how you can do them in fab prints or plain prints and they just look and fit amazing and I've now got I think four pairs at the moment but I see lots more in my future so let me know in the comments. Obviously, you need to be a subscriber. So please, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe and that little bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let me know what your most made make is. And I will run this giveaway for about the next seven days or so. So please get entering and then I'll come back and the next video I have will have the winners and also my recent makes to show you. So I hope everyone is well and I will see you all in my next video.